My name is Rhapsody, and it's been a very long time since I've actually heard the entire intro, so let me, let me, let me try and wrap this off the top of my brain. You remember our venerable house, opulent and imperial? Gazing proudly upon the village from its perch on the stoic moor? I'm not certain. I really am not certain. I can't recall the entirety of it because I have to skip past that screen because I'm always just so jazzed to start playing the game. And yes, I'm the kind of person that just started a sentence. Well, started a sentence. Used jazzed in a sentence. I don't do that often, but I'm just so damn jazzed. All right, then. I think I said I wanted to do somewhat with this. Uh, it's tough ring. Okay, I definitely don't want to do shuffling hor horror. I do want to kill the Wheeled Brigand 16 Powder. I'll be honest, I'm scared. I'm terrified. I'm fucking shaking in my little booties about it. Uh, how about we go to the runes, clear the path to the boss. We've already killed the Necromancer Lord. We've killed the... Hang on, Necromancer Lord, Gibbering Prophet. Is there even another boss there? I don't think there is. Is it two bosses per area or three? Swing Prophet. Brigands, Sodden Crew, Inicate Flesh. Yeah, no, uh, there's... I've killed all of the things in that area. Damn, son. So I've got the Sunken Crew, Beguiling Siren, and then the top level of the Brigand Pounder, the Drowned Crew, and the Formless Flesh. Not that bad. We've got an Abomination to race level 16... Sorry, 6, rather. A High Woman, a Jester, and a Plague Doctor. Honestly, another mission with Starwort, and he'll be our Jester on that high level. We don't have a low... We do have Bele working up the ranks at the moment. Uh, uh, high Woman? I think I fired all of my High Women. No, Umfraville! Just one mission, he's up there. And we have just an S load of Abominations down here. I said fuck earlier, and I just censored S for shit. God damn it, Ryan. You're so scatterbrained today. I realize, I realize it's okay. I'm just, I'm just so jazzed to be playing this game. All right, let's get, uh, you're a natural swing, but you're on guard natural eye. See, the thing is, I want them both. A double abomination party. Can you use, no, you can't use rake. You can use slam from there. Hmm. Basically, I want them for their Blight. Does your Blight increase, by the way? Hang on, let's have a look at this. Dubois, you can increase your Blight's level right now. I want to see if it goes to 4 damage. It doesn't. Damn. What level does it go to 4 damage? Uh, stun chance increased by 9%. Eh. I mean, I will be investing this in you sooner or later, so I may as well do it right now. And also that... Alfrey is coming around on the party basically just for stress heal. He'll be stress healing himself a lot as well because he's automatic nephobic. So let's let's figure out what our party would be. It would be Alfrey, Dubois, frontline party member Moncel. Ah. Right. Yeah, I forgot about that. I did forget about that. That changes everything. <laughs> ah, shit. Well, okay, I guess then if I'm doing a low-level party and unfortunately I only have a Crusader available at the moment, Marcel goes there, you go there. Maybe I take a second line Bordeaux. Ooh. That would be super spicy. You'd have the Hand from the Abyss for a high-level stun. Sacrificial Stab and Abyssal Artillery. But you're not the crit guy! This is high crit, by the way, on the modifier for that stun. Hit. So, this is bad. This is a bad situation we've come into. I think I might have to go on a mid-level mission instead as a result. Okay, so I'm now looking at the sunken crew. I don't get shuffled by the sunken crew often. An Eldritch hater, but they're unholy. Lord Release, Night Blindness. Okay, none of those are problematic here. I could easily take uh, Beaufort here. Clinchamp is almost certainly my healer in this scenario. Carbonell is just great all round. Always has been, always will be. Guess maybe Belay? No, of course, it's secret. 
<laughs> how did I even... How did I even question that for a second? So... Mm, right, I don't have a second line member, so... I guess I take Sigrid as my second line. Right. That explains how I would make a party out of this. Okay, okay. This this should work. This should work. Uh, Carbonell, I will have you increase your range skills as well. And you're not going to have Toxin Trickery. I'm going to give you Lunge for finishing off fights. Uh, Belay is not on the mission, weirdly. Did I want you? What's your single target stun? That plus the... 40%, I believe, from this? Where are you? 40%. Is that going to be enough to stun the Sodden Crew? Sodden Crew actually takes two rounds per turn. Stuns are going to be bad against them. Right. No, I just want pure damage. Uh, which means that I might still want you, but your Blight doesn't increase this turn. No, Bele is just not going to be that good here. Secrets. Upgrade your secrets based abilities. Uh, Clinchamp, are you... You're going to be a third liner, actually. I'm going to give you Illumination as well. And I'm going to start selling some trinkets. I'm only ever going to use one Hell's Hairpin. Definitely not going to use three Cauldrons. I do want to keep both Hero Rings because I want to run some risky things later with the Hero Rings. But at the moment, that's not important. That... Looks like basically everyone, everything that I want to sell right now. Uh, actually, I can sell both of these. Perfect. Okay, and then Beauvoir is already full level on everything I want from you. Intimidate, I found out recently, is just way more accurate by base. So if you're finishing off a character, why would you not use Intimidate? So I'm going to give you Intimidate likely instead of Purge. Okay. You're an Eldritch Hater, which isn't extra accuracy, so you definitely need to stack some accuracy, Beaufort. Uh, everyone else needs to upgrade their equipment just a little, though. Which is really going to be the killer in terms of money. Okay, you are not allowed to move backwards. If you move backwards, I'm screwed. So we're going to give you the heavy boots. Don't push them. Uh, that's going to be quite important because Tidal Slam would move you to the back of the party. And then I just give you the Fortunate Armlet. I'm actually not going to give you anything to increase your attack. At all. Even slightly. And that's because the Leper was recently buffed. Their base damage was just buffed by 20%. On both low and high ends. So I would have probably like 10 to 21 or 10 to 20. 10 to 19 right now. If I were anyone else. But... I'm not. If I if this was before the patch for that specifically is what I mean. Okay. You. What is your stun chance right now? 154. It's still good enough that I don't think I need to give you a stun trinket. Uh, is that still true, actually? Hang on. Extra accuracy and speed. I do give you, I believe, the Blighting Satchel, because you're up to 5 damage per turn. No, 4 damage per turn. Shit. 5 damage per turn is next roll, then. Uh, she does need to be doing more crits, though, and stuff like that from ranged. I have to rethink her, because she would be taking Raider's Amulet 100% of the time right now, but she can't. Hmm. Where does her damage come from? And where does it go? And where does her damage come from, Cotton Eye Joe? It's really the problem I have to think about. Nothing's going to pull me to the front of the party except for, like, the Eldritch people. Eldritch people, what am I talking about? I'm not talking about Eldritch people. I'm talking about the lady what pulls you to the front of the party. That'll pull me to the front of the party. I think, I think for the rest of this, I just try and stack damage on you, or maybe even crit. If it's crit, it's Solar Bracer, and your dodge becomes insane. Okay, that seems good with me. And then you take this and the Eldritch Slayer's Ring. You're going to be really good right up until the boss, and then you're just going to be another minion, basically. 
Uh, you are going to take the Sacred Scroll. I don't think I have anyone that specifically scouts in this area. No, I don't. So you are also going to have to take the Ancestor's Map in order to give us some scouting chance. And then we're going to provision up. Now, I believe we're going against the Alluring Siren. I'll just double check that. No, we're going against the Sunken Crew. I'm very glad I double checked that. Because now I don't need to overstock on Holy Water. I'll take two. Take a full stack of Medicinal Herbs. Take just two Skeleton Keys. Take a full stack and a half of shovels then anti-venom is not super effective but you do need a bunch of bandages to cure arterial pinches and then that should be enough food to be honest and a stack and a half of torches let's go i employed a crew of particularly unsavory mariners who for a time sailed the four corners at my behest retrieving many valuable artifacts, relics, and rare texts. Predictably, they increased their tariffs to counter my intense stipulations of secrecy. Such resources had long been exhausted, of course, and so I prepared an alternative payment. Ah, yes. Kill them all. That's, uh, that's how I like to get paid. The poor devils. Chained and drowning for eternity. You say that like I'm gonna believe that you're actually apologetic about it. What poor devils. I'm gonna go for single target. That's bad. That's not good either. Damn it. Thank As you. the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Ah, uh, at least we managed to kill both. Fine. You only have one target who does have high crit, but dodge. Damn. The hell is giving you the ability to dodge? All right, on guard. Plus five, uh, plus five dodge on the first round. That'll do it. One damage off kill. Kill him. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Throw Carbonell back to the back line and let's go again. Uh, you actually, I was giving you Illumination to replace Dazzling Light because I don't think you're going to be able to stun many things anymore. You have the right setup. You have the right setup. So do you. Perfect. Just making sure. I've been screwed over by that before. I say screwed over. Usually screwed over is something comes from an external source to fuck with you. No, this was entirely my fault. I'm well aware. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Took down the stunner immediately. Okay, you actually would have to be blighted for four direct rounds before I would actually get any huge benefit. Um, I could bring you to the front row. Actually, not all the way to the front is the problem. I'd only pull you right to there. Yeah, if I can't bring you to the very front row, there's no reason to bring you anywhere. Because next turn, I'm just going to have a dagger thrown at you. Actually, hell, I might... Hmm. Yeah, you're dead. Perfect. That lets me do the split daggers here if I really wanted to. I'll probably go for a single hit on the Pelagic Widemouth to get a kill. Nice. This guy doesn't have the stun resist. It was the other one. And then that's over. Fight's over. Real glad we're being part of it. Reduce his dodge, and there's actually 2% chance for the leopard to have missed that one. Increase your damage by 18% until camp. Very nice. I'm very glad the fish idol's effect was changed, because it used to be abysmal. It was just like... Uh, what exactly was it? It was increase your dodge and a few other stats nothing really important for three rounds so you never actually got to use it it would wear off by the time oh this is bad yeah this is bad we missed that shot unfortunately we're gonna take a fair amount of stress damage here especially because she's i mean yeah using stress wave it was either gonna be stress wave from the pelagic oracle there or Hell, it would have actually been worse in a different scenario where the Pelagic Oracle tried to buff this with Call of the Deep. 
Now, unfortunately, since this wasn't moved back, Beauvoir really can't do anything. Nice. That's actually really good. Now we've removed all but two of his dodge. I'm going to just go for the kill. Really? One damage off? Oh, come on. Really? Oh. Now we actually get to eat an accusation of the character. Luckily, I brought enough medicinal herbs for everybody. Continually onslaught. And his dodge Destroy was still removed. Them all. Sadly, Pelagic Oracle resisted that one. Title Slam, you're not going to be able to move him. See? You can stun them. Oh, yeah, 100%. But you're not going to be able to move them. That's the important thing. There's the call of the deep that I didn't want to have to happen. Luckily, you've only got one speed, so my Bounty Hunter should act before the Sea Crusher does. So I should be able to get a stun. Like, I was about to say that, but it turned out not to work. So now I'm just going to look stupid if I said it. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. This is really bad, actually. Arterial pinch. Actually, that's fine. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Eight damage per round for five rounds. So you can imagine why I kind of don't want this to exist. Precision nice crit. And power. A lot of stress heal on that crit as well. Good work. Uh, I'm going to preemptively heal the leper because leper is about to take eight damage. You should be stunned. Thank you. Leopard takes a stupid amount of damage, cures it immediately, and I'm actually going to have you withstand. Increase your protection and decrease your stress. Nice. Okay, four damage I would have to do. Nice. Perfect. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. I mean, if I can't stack it, I may as well use it. Unlock Strongbox. Gives us things that I don't really want. A trinket worth 700... Well, 750, 1,125, actually. Mind that such missteps are the exception, and not the rule. And deeds that I literally can't use anymore. Medicinal herbs in the fish carcass gives us stupid amount of gold. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Yeah, that'll do. Could throw a shovel to keep the jade. It'd be a stack of jade worth a thousand. Yeah, I'm not going to be exploring the entire thing, so I'm not going to be able to use that shovel anyway. You can't actually take that negative on your speed, otherwise I'm not going to be able to do blighting effects with you. Not often enough, at least. Spearfishing on the back row to try and move her. Thankfully, she has five trillion dodge. Spearfishing on the back row to try and move her. Thankfully, she has five trillion dodge. Why do I feel like I'm in Groundhog Day? Oh, God, really? All right, I'm going to have to check his resistances. I don't think he should have resisted stuns that often. That's two times so far. Title Sam on a party member that actually has reduced move. Yeah, he's going to be moved. That's really bad. He's my stunning party member as well. Sure, pull him forward, please. Why do you resist that one? Just guarantee that one of them dies. Move! You goddamn brick! Why? Oh, super annoying. And bleed, of course. Damn it. Solid hit. We can have the fellow move double forward. Spear fishing. Sure, move her. I'm fine with that. Grievous injury. Thank you. Now we're back to a standard party positioning. I'm going to need to do just full party heals constantly, basically. You definitely need to kill that and take a hit. Arterial pinch on another character. His bleed resist isn't that great. But he actually managed to make his way through it. Perfect. 
Spear fishing on the character who has 500 dodge, but it worked out for you this time. A powerful blow. Okay. Feeling a lot better about that now. Stun. Thank you. Good lord. We should just be able to do party heals from now on and be completely fine. Uh, I guess I might roll a blight. Actually, I might lunge here. Yeah, I'm gonna lunge. Okay, that was a bad idea. Yeah, I'm just gonna have her take the kill. Perhaps the turning point. Because she has the ability to heal herself. As well as the fact that... Hang on, you have to move so she can use an illumination. As well as the fact that... Passing that turn and waiting for the leper... Leper might bleed again. Okay, who wants cove equipment? You do. You're a cove tactician already. Alright then. You're inspired... Oh, for stress heal. Wow, I didn't know that did that. I'm glad for it though, because apparently he had a lot more stress than I thought. Uh, I can use an anti-venom on this, but I don't have one. But I can just use it by base, and it should be okay. Resilience is heightened. Oh, shit, yo! Extra debuff resistance until camp. That's actually incredible. Especially oh, wait, no. We're going up against the sodden crew. We're not going up against the unerring siren or whatever it is. Unyielding siren? I can't remember. But if we were going up against the siren, that would be a lot better. Whoops. All right, pelagic wide mouths. One down. Pummeling. Two down. I could have split my damage, but there's really no reason to split your damage. There just isn't. We'll stun you so that I have a turn to heal up my bounty hunter with a crit. Goddamn, that brings him back to almost full health. Uh, I would actually relish the opportunity to get a heal out on my Vestal? What am I talking- was I about to call you a Vestal? Ah, god damn it. Strike. Had to crit on that hit. Yeah, had to. I'm better off throwing away the Centrique, which is worth 500 for a stack of two, whereas Emerald for a stack of two is worth a thousand. Yeah, okay. That seems good to me. That seems reasonable. There's Party Hunger. Now I'm pretty happy to do double food on you to free up a slot. <laughs> and immediately get Centric, of course. Is that Centric? I keep calling it Centric. It's Citrine. That should be our boss fight. Excellent. I'm actually not going to rest before the boss. Do I even have, like, great things if I do rest? No. Uh, plan takedown is pretty good. Uh, I'll tag that, actually. Yeah, plan takedown is basically the only good thing here, which is plus uh, something amount of damage, 25% damage. A little bit more accuracy as well. But I'll lose both of these buffs. You know what? I'm not going to rest before the boss. It's fine. Oh, awesome. I was going to interact with that with you specifically anyway. Awesome. Glad to see you got more resistances there. Another mariner. Another misfortune. Uh, our party will be shuffled a little bit, but as long as she isn't shuffled to the back, we're fine. Just making sure that everything's correct. We'll buff up the torch the to full and go in. The promise of safety. Oh look, it's the sunken crew. They get two moves per turn, so stuns aren't really good against them. All hands on deck to summon the drowned ropeman. Blight resistance on this character is very low. If I'm starting out the fight, I may as well start with blights. 28 damage. 15 to 28 and she rolls the 28. Not even a crit and she does the 28. That's incredible. Another dodge as well. This is incredible so far. Okay, he too worked. You're immobilized, but now I can kill the Drowned Ropeman. I have to kill the Drowned Ropeman as soon as possible. 
prevent all of this stress damage. Or prevent some of it. But also prevent my opponent from healing. Because they do get to heal while that occurs. Oh, come on. You have heightened bleed resist right now, don't you? Oh, damn it. And that still worked? Nice. Freed him up. Now you have to use hands on deck so that you can summon someone. Oh, you were summoned this turn and you still have the ability to move. That's kind of lame. It's not a huge blight. Uh, we'll start healing you. It's not a huge blight. What am I talking about? It's not a huge bleed. Oh, wow. Really? Okay, before the Leper Axe. That's... I mean, they both do have one speed, but it was even before the Bounty Hunter acted. Because now the Leper can still hit. The Leper isn't immobilized for this. Well, I mean, they are literally immobilized. That's actually the debuff they get. But there's no problem. They can still act. Uh, if I do hit the Drowned Ropeman, then I'm going to kill it. 89% chance. Perfect. I wish I had more stress heal on this character. Sorry, on this party. Like, a leper would be surprisingly good. Because basically the only damage I'm doing right now is the Blights. Drink with the Dead. That's actually more stress damage as well. Uh. Damn it. 9 to 18 we roll. Of course. Low. The Leper might actually be able to kill the Drowned Ropeman in a single hit here. Fine. See, it's the fact that they heal while someone's captured that's really annoying. Yeah, there we go. Single hit. I'm actually going to try and remove your dodge. You have no great debuff resistance. Okay, let's remove your dodge. And that's just so that I don't miss at all, ever, hopefully. She doesn't... Oh, uh, she got brought to the front. That's actually really bad. She's going to have to move herself all the way back so that the leper actually gets an action this turn. 9 to 18. Rolls an 11, because of course he does. Boarding clutch. Yep, resist the bleed. Glad to see it. Uh, you don't need to heal yourself, so I don't need to roll the judgment. We'll do a little bit of heal on her. Sorry, the Vestal is male. We do a little bit of a Vestal. What am I talking about? Sorry, the Leper is male. We'll do a little bit of healing on him, rather. Drink with the dead. You're passing out stress to everyone rather than focusing on a single target, which is a bad idea. It really is. That devastating blow. Ah, that actually hit. Oh, wow, that was really good. All hands on... Are you going to bring him to the front? Actually, no, he resists move. Of course you're not going to bring him to the front. I do have to continue rolling the blights. Because that's 12 damage. Because I am going to be here for long enough that that blight will run out. So that is 12 full damage that I basically get from that. Boarding clutch doesn't bring him forwards. Heave 2 always hits the frontline party member. I'm now certain of it. I was just keeping an eye on it, but it just seems to always 100% definitely hit the frontline party member. Drink the dead. Okay, I'll just heal the heal the leper here. I can't actually kill the drowned ropeman without a critical strike and maximum damage. That's not going to happen. Let's face it. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that launch. It's super annoying. Oh, wow, you resisted the Blight? You actually have negative 60 Blight resist. How did you resist that shit? That shouldn't have happened. Like, that actually doesn't make sense that that could happen. Okay, now the spread damage across the two should be fine. She does need to heal herself so she can use Judgment now relatively effectively. And there we go. The amount they heal themselves is annoying. Right? I'm not really able to do much right now. Hang on, I guess I could try and stun the Drowned Ropeman. That would probably be interesting to try and do. It's 
like an 84% chance to work. I'm gonna try it. Like, we could possibly forge new strats for the sunken crew right now. Mutiny. Yeah, that's just a debuff, I believe. Not even certain it's a huge one, to be honest. Jump with the dead. More stress damage on our back line. Again, she does need to heal herself so she can roll judgment relatively safely. All hands on deck. See, that doesn't get to summon someone because this guy's already here. I'd love to leap forward, but I can't really afford to do that right now. And dead. Perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping to do. In the swirling blackness, far beyond the light's reach. I'm actually considering keeping... Keeping going here. I think I will. So what do I leave? Dodgy sheath. I honestly don't want either of these trinkets. But... They're going to be worth the same as a stack of gold. 1.5k. And worth more than a stack of Centurion. And worth more than a stack of Jade. Okay, I'll replace those then. Okay. We're going to be doing a lot of backtracking now. Probably take a fair amount of stress damage while doing it. Uh, your Trap Disarm should actually be pretty damn good as well. Yeah, 105. Since we're in a veteran level dungeon, 105 is actually a total of a 85% chance to disarm the trap. Okay. Single hit there. I'd love to get the stun. Perfect. Here we go. Stunned him. Thank you. And if you would actually... If you'd like to judgment for the kill on the Pelagic Widemouth, I would be very appreciative. Well, you can't always get one. Nice. The ground quakes. I could actually roll a 44% chance of a stun on you. I'm gonna roll it. 44. Nice! <sighs> gonna make us a lot safer right now. Hmm. If I really wanted, I could have tried to lunge there, but I would have to get a crit on the lunge and then a crit later as well to really capitalize on that and guarantee that I got the kill in this round. God damn it. Lunge would have worked. Oh, actually, it worked anyway. The Blight worked. Because now you died the Blight. Oh. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. God damn. Leper crits are insane. Although I couldn't afford to give the leper the leper's mask this time. The amount of times that someone was trying to move the leper... I mean, I think it's only been twice in this area, but... It's really important that the leper didn't move either of those times. I actually seem to be relieving more stress than I'm gaining while I'm doing all this backtracking. Just through critical hits, specifically from the leper and the grave robber. Damn it! I was just about to buff the torch up again. Oh, never mind. It didn't matter. That was dumb. I was trying to throw a thrown dagger at them. Yeah, that was stupid. I should have just thrown a thrown dagger. Obviously. Oh, right. I'll stun this one and then I'll have the... Lovely lady here. This is a higher chance of crit, so I guess I just roll that. Perfect. My other option was to use the Bounty Hunter to try and kill the one that was already on lower health. But then I don't have a great effect like that coming out of the Vestal. I don't give them the ability to prove themselves in that fashion. Nice. Very nice. Stress wave, sure. She takes extra stress damage as well. Thanks to the accusation that's already hit. 
I could have rolled for damage and probably killed this guy, but I feel a lot safer waiting and letting other people do it, to be honest. It's pretty much how that goes for me. Okay, and literally anything hitting would kill, so I'll roll the high chance of crit. This expedition at least promises success. Holy water is actually no longer important at all. We'll just pop it on everyone. Um, yeah, it's, it's just not really relevant at all. Okay, we'll take this. I'm really hoping for some more scouting chances, to the be honest. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. I will cure the extra stress damage on her, because I do want to get this party as de-stressed as possible. There's a nice little scout. No found location of a secret room, but it's okay. If I found a Shambler altar, what would I do? That's always a huge... Wow. I'm annoyed that I don't get double the... Uh, sorry, double the stress heal from that. That was incredible. Kill the one that hadn't acted yet. <laughs> First round. Nice work. And... A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. For our labor, we've gotten some gold. Now, there is one battle there. Possible battles in this hallway and possible battle in that room up there. <sighs> is that enough to start throwing away things that I might need. I know there's one obstacle there. Which I'm almost certainly never going to interact with. I think I can throw away these now. I hope I don't come to regret that. But I definitely need to start another stack of gold. I've started running out of gold, just plain and simple. I'm, I don't have as much gold as I used to. Not anywhere near. Okay, salvage that unburnt torch. You have some nice disarm chance. Roll that. We will have to backtrack one hallway, but after that it's all going to be all new hallways. We'll go through one familiar room, but that's not a problem. Not really. I like that that doesn't look like it's explored. There's a curio? There is not a curio in that room. There can't be a curio behind a goddamn boss. Stupid video game nerd trying to tell me what's what. I'll tell you what's what. Nice. It's actually really good. Sets up for the flashing daggers really well. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I'm sad about it, but it's okay. Excuse me? She's supposed to dodge that. I need to bleed resist for a few rounds. That's fine. Debuff is fine. Anything else is not. Actually, I do have Snuffbox, so I would be able to kill. Kill the one that acts fastest. Roll some extra damage on it to guarantee that the Leper kills it. Nice. The Leper actually did need that damage to kill it. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I am reminded. Consider me reminded. Perfect. Scout. Nice. No traps. Or oh, there is a trap. I'm fine with there being a trap. It's actually just stress heal for me at the moment. My, I literally have a 100% chance to disarm it. In a veteran dungeon, there is a 20% chance for a trap to not be disarmed, which is subtracted from your disarm chance. In a Legend dungeon, that goes... Champion dungeon, I think they're actually called. That moves from... 20% to 40%. But your max disarm chance is 135. So you always have a still... You still have a chance the to be is struck. screwed over, basically. A blazing star is born. Solid. 
I mean, sure, it's just stuff that stacks with what I've already got. And unless there's a curio or a fight in here, then uh, yeah, we're fine. Perfect. Now we just use the firewood and rest. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Do as much stress heal as possible. You don't have the worries. Right, I cured it with the Plague Doctor. Yeah, as I recall now. Hmm. I don't want to have you let the mask down. I guess Sanctuary would have to be my way of preventing a nighttime ambush. But do I care about a nighttime ambush, really? Oh, nice! It just did stress heal on everyone. Good work. Hang on. I have... You know what? I have two people that can encourage... I'm going to roll both encouragers and we'll just deal with the possibility of a nighttime ambush. I'm also going to pilfer. Yep. And now, the darkness holds dominion. Okay, Black we've been ambushed. Death. It's pretty bad, I'll be honest. So long as we don't get like a stupid amount of crits against us, it will be fine though. Okay, buttering them down. Unfortunately, the Vestal can't do anything from that slot. Death waits. There's a crit. The slightest lapse in concentration. Nice, you actually could hit that. I am going to have to guarantee that the Postulant Thrall dies before the start of next turn. There's some more stress. Suddenly, this wasn't worth... Instead of... Suddenly, it wasn't worth rolling for the stress heal rather than giving sanctuary. Okay, it's now more worth as long as we get some. Damn it! I was really hoping other people would stress heal as well. Is the weapon that cuts on its own. Reduce your dodge, and then what? Fucking really? He acted before my Grave Robber. My Grave Robber has four more over you. I was hoping to do that in the fight. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. That's sad, unfortunately. Got a little bit of stress on all characters. Not an incredible amount. I think we started with more stress on the characters than we ended with. Which is great, especially considering we didn't really have dedicated stress relief. Second wind. Tough. Oh, hard skinned. The place is quick draw. Uh, that's kind of annoying. But hard skinned is really good. Uh, resilience replaces photomania, legophobia. Mm, I'm not actually really happy about resilient being replaced, but whatever. Sorry, about photomania being replaced. I remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. You literally hired people to kill all of the villagers. I mean. I'm sorry, I'm not going to sympathize with that. I really, I just can't, actually. I'm incapable of sympathizing. Oh shit! Wounding helmet, finally! I want to see what's in the low-level missions, though. Lucky Dice is actually surprisingly good. It's just no downside to good Jester Trinket. There's nothing that could actually compel me to go to the Darkest Dungeon yet. Okay, let's check up on the Nomad Wagon. Holy Orders. They're all too expensive for me, but also I don't want them, so... We're at a fine agreement here. Please... Oh, God, where's my healer? Hate. Mankind Hater Balanced. Wow. That is not a bad dude. Actually, I'm going to replace my current... Molsell with Volville. Because I actually haven't invested anything into you. Another soul battered and broken. Cast aside like a spent torch. Hang on, I might actually take someone else instead. Scattering, Tipler, Tough Tactician? I don't want a... Religious frontline party member. That's the thing. I'm, I'm thinking I might be able to do low-level uh, low missions again. If I don't take a religious party member. Because then I can go Morisco... Dubois, Bourdais, and Sakerville. 
And then when Dubois levels up, I can take Bavain instead. That's really good. It's either that or Hidea. Although I do want another man at arms. I think I'll take Hidea. Because it also gives us the versatility of a stun without really having a stun. Other than, you know, Bavain's and Dubois' stuns. Okay, we'll take it off. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. She can only really go to the ruins if I'm also taking Arfrey because she's going to take extra stress damage in the ruins. You know what? Is there, a, is there a short enough mission that I really want to go on? Is she a Warren's scrounger? She is, yeah. Extra scouting chance. Nice. But the problem is, it's going to be more difficult. You're a Warren's tactician. Bam. <sighs> okay, what if I went Hedar... Whoa, I'll fray and I guess Baudet for the heal. You're a beast slayer. As well as being here to stress heal the abomination, because the abomination is going to be transforming. You're going to be taking the restraining padlock and the lock of fury. Because you're a natural swing and a warren's tactician, and I'm gonna have you beat the shit out of every beast in here. Then you you sir nothing really moves you to the back line if i can recall correctly i don't think anything does so if nothing's going to move you to the back line you may as well just stack on beast killing power do i want to juice your crit what's your crit chance eh, it's not that high i could theoretically try and reduce your crit but i don't really want to how about I give you the sun ring for accuracy and damage? Seems good to me. Uh, you take your critical die, because you are a beast slayer, so that's a bunch of crit on you already. And hell, I might actually have you take the surgical gloves as well, increase your crit even more. You are in a low-level dungeon with a high-level bleed, so you're unlikely to actually miss the bleed anyway. So I think I can afford to do that. And you, yes. We do need more scrounging chance. I mean, scouting chance, rather. So we'll take the... Ancestors map there. I also want to give you heal up. But I also want to give you, like, accuracy up. So you can just hit the back row. But you won't really be doing that much damage. So if you're not doing that much damage, I'll just give you heal up. <coughs> Damn it. Damn it! Had to sneeze at that right time. Okay. Actually, people try and stun the back row in here and hit the back row. I'm going to give you Wilbur's flag for dodge. All right. Let's make sure we have everything I wanted. Yes, we do. Let's provision and leave. Don't have a reliable healer. But the Warrens is full of food. Take a few more torches than I need because I want to possibly burn scrolls. Uh, two of those bandages no anti-venom here i don't believe single holy water should be fine let's leave each region has its own challenges assemble your party and supplies accordingly that's why i'm not taking blight they breed quickly down there in the dark but perhaps we can slay them even faster I'm really pleased, by the way, that you can spawn into a level and have it already scouted if you have a high enough scouting chance. Excuse me, your scouting chance should have been really good. Watch what your step. What is your trap disarm? 75. Okay, I, I should have realized that. That's my bad. He's a level 1 character, so he doesn't get the extra 10% that you get for every level of resolve. Okay, so I guess I just explore this entire area. Thankfully, no one interacted with that. There is a meat wagon here, which I'm pretty happy about. I'm gonna go for the slice off. Nice. And are you dead to your bleed now? Yeah, you are. Awesome. You're gonna transform because that's why I took you here. I don't care if I stress everyone out, I really just wanna do the transformations. Yorp them! Get your done. Oh man, this is fun. Is, the weapon that cuts is this what own. fun feels like? I think I'm having fun. 
Oh. Give them no quarter. He's evil. He's so brutally powerful. Oh, excuse me? Really hoping to do one damage from that. Um, you've got three. What's your speed? Four. Okay, I can't be certain that I'm going to act first. But also, I can't actually hit you, so I'll just do some stress heal here. Nice. Oh, and a crit. Broken. Baby. Maintain the offensive. Okay, here's our extra food from the dining cart. Damn, that was a lot of food, actually. In fact, it's so much, I'm gonna start chowing down. Ooh, nice. I think I cure that with the medicinal herbs as well. That's quite the accusation, Madman. How dare you say that about me? I've never done that, especially with anyone underaged. Masterfully executed. Oh, nice. Swine Slash is dead. Uh, Swine Wretch, unfortunately, lives on, though. Bad humor's shit. Kind of annoying I didn't want to have that happen. I don't... See, the thing is, I don't really have party members to hit, because I could rake the front line, but... This guy's already dead. He just doesn't know it yet. Oh, so pummeling. Feel free to butcher's cut him. He is absolutely a-okay okay with taking the pain. By inches. I actually couldn't hit the madman, unfortunately. Because I don't have her with the bleed out skill. Nice. Uh, you can actually only hit the back line. So there's no reason for me to try and hit this. In fact, I'll just go for the stress heal instead. Because the only thing that Bordet can actually do here is try and hit the back line. I'll give him... I'll use his mark because it's actually a higher chance to hit. But I don't need the extra the damage. Crumbles. But just cuts. On a character that dodges it. Nice work. As the fiend falls... A faint hope blossoms. Bad humus was quite unfortunate, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Solid scout. Perfect. I'm just going to loop around the entire thing. I just want everything here. This is why I've run in with very few resources. You should actually... Your disarm chance isn't super high. Hang on. Here's what I'm going to do to guarantee that I get the disarm. And we'll swap the trinkets around again. Perfect. I do want to get as much stress heal as possible as well. So I might actually just relegate the Jester to only stress healing... Like, actually not let him do anything that isn't just stress heal. Stashed heirlooms. And then I'm going into a battle, so I'll buff up the torch. Right. We have surprised them. I could probably relatively easily kill them all before they get a turn. That's looking less likely, to be honest. Unless I, like, crit and kill the cultist brawler here. Doesn't die to his bleed. Yeah, I've, I've spread out my damage horribly. If I had the ability to smash through them, then that would have been surprisingly good, but I don't. So unfortunately, they're going to get a vomit off. Uh, it's a crit for a lot of stress damage. Thankfully, the Cultist Brawler will die next turn. So will the Swine Wretch. I'm going to have you transform back, and I'm also going to have you Absolution yourself. Do the stress heals. Speaking of, Cultist Brawler is almost certainly going to get another action. That's annoying, but unforeseen, unforgiving. I'm just going to have to deal with that if I want to get some stress heals here. Precision oh, nice! That's a little power. stress heal as well. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. No reason to stall on that one. I could have though. 
success so clearly in view? Or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay. Well, if I'm not going to be raking through two targets, I really don't care. Plus, they're not beasts as well, so I don't get my best benefits out of it. Okay, you're dead. Just don't know it yet. Impressive. Very nice. I rolled that so that the Iron Swan was guaranteed to kill if it hit. Which it did, so it works out well for me. Exposed to a killing blow. I'm not okay with the amount of stress that I'm getting here. It's not fun. Not fun at all. Let's try and disable you a little. Lower your damage, especially from a point blank shot that I'm expecting to see very soon. Stress heals time. Just imagine if I didn't have Alfrey here. Things would be going absolute haywire. I'm just gonna roll out for the damage. Yeah, almost certainly wasn't gonna get the stun. You are dead though, so I'm just gonna heal myself. Possibly could have crit on that and done some stress heal. But basically I'm just holding off so that I can get that. Thank you. Might even have the time to heal the Jester, who knows. That's a heal on the Jester. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Quest is complete, but I'm not done with you yet. Open that hidden compartment. Let's move on. Stress disarm. Your disarm chance is 75. Right. See, that's why I swapped the goddamn map last time. Carelessness will find oh. no clemency in this place. That's actually the perfect line for the narrator to say afterwards as well, because I the was careless there. Stopped. I was like, a blazing star is born. I don't want to spend all of that time. God, it's just so laborious spending 20 seconds, 20 seconds to more like 10, swapping this between two characters. Ugh. Who has the time for such a thing? Well struck. I really should have just done that though. Sorry, did you just, did you crit on that attack? I didn't even know you could crit on that attack. You're dead. <laughs> nice two damage. Uh, I should have yorped. I should have yorped. There's no reason not to have just yorped there. The fact that you resisted both of those made it a lot better, though. Shit. Oh, never mind. I was about to say, if the Jester doesn't go before the other Cultist Brawler, I'm going to feel real silly about this. But uh, Jester did go before the other Cultist Brawler. And we're A okay. Kill him. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Hmm. Alright, we're just gonna eat another full stack of food. I'm not really healing in battle as much as I'm just eating all of the food. Carelessness. Oh, we found some clemency in it. Nice. <laughs> I just had to do that, just to have fun. Okay, kill the swine drama as soon as possible. In fact, I'm just going to stun you. I'm not going to let you stress my body out. The Holy shit! Quakes. I mean, jeez. Jeez Louise is what I should be saying. Rather. Okay, hook where it hurts isn't really going to do that much damage, thanks to the damage debuff that I've just applied. I'm actually going to yorp here. No reason not to. Yorp for the stun. Yorped him. This isn't rolling for the stun, it's just rolling for the damage, basically. I only really have one party member that can hit the front line. And that's pretty much the Hellion right now. I didn't think about that. I really ought to have. Nice. Solid end. Let's leave. Their squeals fade. 
Their confidence is shaken. So we did get as much money as possible from that area. I mean, other than doing it in dark light. But we did get a lot more money than we invested in. I took way too much food, but I also did get a surprising amount of food. Like I got a dinner tray giving me 12, and then I got a table giving me 12 and 2. So that's a lot more food than you can expect to get. I did take more shovels than I needed, but I didn't actually run into any obstacles. It's possible that I would run, out, uh, run into two. I could have taken possibly just one shovel there. Looks like I definitely took the right amount of torches. I actually picked up a lot of those bandages from things happening. Skeleton keys, I definitely took way too many. I took three, I think. All right. I'm just trying to keep this in mind so that I know in the future exactly how many things I want to take to certain different areas. Oh, Slugger. Don't mind if you do, Alfrey. Although, he doesn't do an incredible amount of base damage, so plus 10% isn't really that much. But still. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. It's better than not having it. All right, let's make sure that there's nothing else that I'm interested in. Oh, camouflage cloak. 15 dodge if the torch is above 75. And it's negative 20 stun resist, but if you paired that with another Wilbur's flag, that's another 10 dodge. <laughs> and it offsets the stun resist. That's actually a surprisingly good setup, I imagine. Um, ah, yes, finally. Okay, so it turns out, by the way, that if you lose an ancestral trinket, you can just get it back. So I'm not entirely screwed. Siren's Conch, less stress damage, more debuff resist. Pretty cool. Ancestor's Portrait, and it's a little Cthulhu. More of a, like, Eldritch-based head. What do I say Cthulhu for? In the background there, I'm liking that a lot. It's a short champion there, if I really want to. Hmm. I'm just very interested in all of this. Uh, I'm almost certainly just going to go try and level these guys up run another low-level mission. Because I do want to try and get the Jester and the Abomination in the same party while we move up. But I'm also definitely looking at the Long Exterminate in the Wield and thinking, do I have a level 5 team? Sorry, a level 6 team, rather, that might want to go on that? Possibly. Who knows? Who knows? If we're ever going to find out, it's probably going to be next time. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been dark as dungeon hopefully you've been enjoying yourself if you have please click like it does help get my content out to new people there's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on the video game past present and future if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and you want more content like this please do hopefully we'll see you next time